Classically Angry poem on jealousy. Purple and lapis and forest green cascade down the sweetest cheeks you've ever seen. Peacock feather temperament, ain't she a doll? Any would be happiest being her thrall. Fingernails sharpened to lie in his claws. Sharp tongue hit by loud guffaw and blah blah blahs. I see your eyes when you look at hers. God, if I rhyme any more, I'll drive myself mad. Especially about her. I see the way your eyes soften when they wait in hers, but those are shark infested waters, pal. You know she's a tea kettle, a boiling cesspool under stainless steel, rising in her screams to bid you to do what she needs. Pick her up and let her fill you, then run out the sides, burning your skin, but you can't let go of her. You can't help but love the pain. You suck the boiling fuel from the top, but she just keeps coming and coming. I've got a lifesaver here. I'm willing to save you from this. But these kicks, they're not keeping you above water. They're hitting me in my darkest places, in the hammocks of my ribs, and they're swaying under keratin palms. They see above this hot, cold ocean, ready to subsume you. How could you be ready for this? When you descend into her imperfect deeps, will you think of me at all? When red polished fingernails raise your little chin, softly flush and blushed, and dig under your skin to feel the inside of your goosebumps, and leave the dripping blood to be your wicked blush, will you wonder where your flesh crawled off to, or follow it deeper into her cavernous breast? When your magnetized emotions draw nearer, and I watch your eyes travel every bad land of her, stepping over rattlesnake hairs and sand-filled, poorly disguised craters, and I have to rip my tongue out to avoid screaming my arteries into reversing my blood flow to keep the flood out of her goddamned eyelashes. Shall I leave it to be your wedding gift? Were you to beat away the cobwebs sticking to her bones composed of riddles, would you find a thread long enough to floss the ridges of your brain until the tissue tears? Would it be enough for you? Would I? You are too lost in her eyes. And the shark grabs your ass and you let it. You both laugh, eyes flickering like drowsy spotlights to see me burn. My expense is too often the cost of her words. But the surgery is done, so I stitch up a smile for you two and beg you to piss on the wound. But no flies are undone, and the wretched peacock brushes you with her feathers when she turns to sashay away. Please don't leave me to follow her, my friend. But you turn to shuffle after her prisoner. I snip another of my feathers away. Why anymore? The only procedure today was open heart surgery, and it wasn't on you. Where are your burn scars? Please show them to me before I should char my insides for anxiety. But you're gone, and I am left the wretched peacock. Bye.